Hello everyone, Zach here. Today we have a, a little bit of a different video. Uh, we all have computers, uh, we all have chargers for our cell phones that we plug into the wall. We all have, you know, extension cables, yada yada. We have um, multi-hub places to plug in multiple devices into the wall. It's, it's really a non-issue. But in a work environment, it could be an issue. You could be dealing with, you know, some constraints about how many devices you can have plugged in. You don't really want to plug them into your PC. For me, I really actually hate plugging my cell phone into my computer because I don't like being prompted constantly. Oh, would you like to download your photos? Well, no, because I have all my photos backed up to the cloud. I don't really need them back physically. And that's where this product actually comes in. We were contacted by a company called DACA and they asked us if we'd like to look at their product and we said sure. So here it is. It's a five port USB hub. It's, this is what I like. It actually has a type C port, which, you know, can be annoying to find places for type C. It, it's thankfully started growing. I mean, Z370 board finally has a USB-C out port. Well, yeah, whatever. And then this one specifically has multiple USB ports because the USB hub, but they're all at different amperages. So you have one that's five volt, one amp. You have one that's five volt, 2.4 amps, uh, five volt, 2.4 amps. And then you have one that's like a cascade. It's labeled blue, like, you know, the color of a USB three port, but five volt, three amp, nine volt, 2.5 amp, and then 12 volt, two amp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unbox this little guy and we're gonna go ahead and set it up and we'll go ahead and do a quick charge with the uh, Samsung S9 Plus. See if it enables quick charging. But uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Alrighty, so here's the box. Let's go ahead and open it up. You're met with their little DACA multi-port USB charger. A little user manual. You know, stuff you'll probably never read. But move that to the side. Got your little hub here. Let's open that out. There it is. As you can see, it's got the amperages, like I said it did, five volt, one amp, the 2.4 amps, and the weird cascade one. But uh, yeah, this will be interesting. On first look though, the ports look a little slanted. Can you see that? Yeah. The ports of it are a little slanted. I mean, this one's okay, but the one amp, this 2.4 and this five volt three amp one, a little slanted, but uh, we'll see. We're gonna go ahead and keep going here. What we got here. Oof, what a brick. Yeah, here's your big old 240 volt. Wow. Nope, that's the adapter for it. Now plug in, I'll give you multiple USB hubs, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. I'm a little interested to see if those slanted ports affect anything but yeah let's go alrighty so we went ahead and plugged it in you can tell it's got this little blue light glowing since it's getting power um first thought immediately is when i went to plug it in the cable is actually a little short for my desk and so i actually had to pull it forward because if i had routed the cable behind my desk i would have had the little hub like behind my monitors. So first thing I would probably think about is maybe a longer cord for people with larger desks. But here's the part what I was curious about. Let's see what happens when we plug in my Samsung's S9 charger. This is the wire straight from Samsung. So it's rated for their quick charge. Let's see. Okay, it did go in it's just fine. That's not bad. Now let's plug in the S9. So this is charging, nice. 
little tech yes city there but yeah okay well it's at 69 percent right now at 352 and we'll come back in about five to ten minutes and see where it's at all righty so it's 357 we're at 73 percent got a nice four percent up now i mean four percent five minutes not bad but I don't know specifically if that's going to fit the uh, the higher amperage it says it has. I don't have any equipment specifically to test it, but uh, yeah, let's go into the last part and talk about what I thought about the product. All right, so we looked at just unboxing the product. We looked at what was possibly wrong with it, and so we're going to go ahead and jump into the bad part before we jump into the good part. Bad part. USBs are off kilter. I mean, these are a little slanted. Oops, a little slanted here. They are just not aligned with the holes that are cut out for them. That's more a quality control issue. It's not anything specifically wrong with the product, but I mean, it made me apprehensive to plug in my $700 device into the charger that's not even aligned properly. It just made me a little worried that maybe something was wrong. Uh, the second and actually the last problem I have with it is the uh, the outlet port from where the outlet plugs into the puck itself to give it power that cable small if we're gonna it's gonna be partially segued into the good now if you want a charger like a puck like this for multiple devices that will take up one one slot on your outlet this is the product for you like you will be able to plug it in and put it right beside your dresser now, if you need that same use case and you need it for your desk, like I would want, you're gonna have a hard time. My desk is tall and that little cable that's less than four foot long really can barely clear my desk. Like this little bad boy right here ended up right behind my monitor and that made it really hard for me to plug any devices into it. I actually had to route it in front of my PC so that we could even charge my phone for that small few minute test we did. Now, the good. This product has a good spread of amperages. Like it, it can support quick charge. It looked like it supported quick charge. Don't have anything to you know empirically test that, but it, it seemed pretty quick. It seemed like it could charge like it was supposed to be rated for. Uh, you have multiple ports on it. So like I said, multiple devices, even type C to type C, which is still a little rare, but you know, it's finally coming out there. We're finally getting that option. Now, would I advise this to you? Like I said, for the dresser drawer usage, yes, I would drawer usage. The dresser usage, I would definitely recommend this. If this is gonna be beside your dresser, where you and your fiance, your wife, your significant other are gonna be charging things, definitely. I would buy this, the DACA charger, the five port charger. Now for desk usage, for someone like me who would want this product, it's a hard, it's a hard no. And that's only because of the length. It makes it hard for me to be able to put this anywhere on my desk to kind of keep it out of the way where we could charge my devices without becoming cumbersome to me. If they change the length of just the cable, forget the USB slanted this right now. If they just change the length of that charging cable from four foot to about six foot, 100% I would recommend it for both use cases. This product specifically has shown me that I actually would like to have a product like this in my life, just if the cable was longer, because I would be able to charge all my devices in one area without having to worry about anything. Because currently I have to have them spread all over the outlets in the room and sometimes throughout the house to get my products charged that I use every day. But uh, those are my thoughts on the DACA five port USB charger. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks to DACA once again for going ahead and uh, sending this product to us for review. We greatly appreciate it. Have a good one.